In other news, Olivia Jerome is set to be released from General Hospital sometime today. Mr. Rome's lawyers have... Should we eat all the cocoa poofies? No, no, quiet, I'm listening. Claiming she suffered from selective amnesia, has no knowledge of her alleged crime, and therefore is unable to aid in her defense. Fuck the hell she doesn't. Assistant District Attorney Scott Baldwin claims that Mr. Rome was only faking her condition in order not to stand trial. At a hearing held yesterday, however, Mr. Baldwin failed to prove his case. Failed to prove my case? Why, you over the hill, over peroxide, hillbilly! Get out of the way, please. Get out of the way. Insisted on testifying on Mr. Rome's... Yeah, case. Tom Hardy, my turncoat cousin. ...that she did suffer from selective amnesia is believed to be the main reason why Mr. Rome was ultimately declared unable to stand trial. There has been no reaction so far from Assistant DA Baldwin's office... No reaction? Here. How's that? That's a reaction. You want to see a reaction? There's another reaction! Good morning. How are you doing? How do I look? I look tired. Commissioner Scorpio's office. Yeah, hold on a minute. Carver from the Witness Protection Program. <laughs> you want to tell me what happened last night? Yeah, I'm as much in the dark as you are, Scorpio. He was supposed to look after Lavery. Instead, the guy winds up dead along with one of your agents. It's official then, they're both dead? You mean you didn't know? Well, according to my last report, none of the bodies have been found yet. No, they haven't. But I saw them both run into the building moments before the explosion. Is there any chance that... Not one. The place was an inferno. Besides, Anna found... Duke's wedding ring amongst the rubble. How can I help? First off, I want to question everyone, and I mean everyone involved with the Lavery case. All right, all right, you got it. Starting today. Some of the agents are back in New York already. We'll get them back here. Right. Look, I want to get to the bottom of this as much as you do. I've got answer for the entire reputation of the witness protection program. Not to mention Anna Lavery and my daughter. Yeah, they deserve to know who did this. Right. And I intend to find out. It is now. Right. Come in. Oh, good morning. I hope I'm not interrupting. No. <clears throat> yeah, no, Peter, I've got much sleep either. Look, buddy, I think we're both going to get a lot of sleep once we find out who killed Duke and this agent. We? Yeah, we. I want in on this case. Which had a deadline. I'm sure the Colton can handle it. This is much more important to me. Okay. Okay. All right, now what we've got here is the cast of characters, where they were and with whom on the night. Lavery's, we got Robin, Anna, Sean, Robert. And two federal marshals. We got their names, too? Yeah, we can talk to them later. Uh, in the safe house here, we have Duke, Malone, and Russo. Who's Russo? He was the agent, killed along with Duke. Okay. At the warehouse, then, we have Duke, Russo, and the night watchman. What about his condition? Oh, Sam's down at the general hospital right now, waiting for him to gain consciousness. He's critical. As soon as she hears something, I'm sure she'll call us. Now, these are the only people who really knew what was going on, right? Well, along with Carver, he was the WPP person uh, in control of the plan. I think, uh, you know, this whole thing still amazes me. I mean, the, the, the WPP is usually pretty mistake-proof. Yeah, well, somebody got through. Yeah, but I still can't... How, I, yeah, <coughs> Robert, I can't figure out how someone could really screw up their plan so completely. Just goes to show you how powerful Jerome's organization really is. There's no doubt in my mind that Jerome was behind all of this. Hmm. All we have to do is prove it. Yeah. I guess. All right, listen. Commissioner Scorpio's office. Yeah, go ahead. We're going to question the Same WPP way. people as they straggle in from New York. You know, one thing puzzles me. Now, Duke and Russo were supposed to slip into that warehouse rather inconspicuously, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. In which case, why was Duke running? And why was he screaming out Anna's name? Okay, exactly. thanks, Plus. Exactly. Okay, that was Sam at the hospital. The night watchman is critical, but... He regained consciousness just enough to say that he heard somebody, a man's voice, yelling Anna just before he ran into that Well, that building. was Lavery. Yeah, of course. Anna heard him. Had to be. And then he said the guy yelled something about it being a trap just before the building blew up. How the hell would Duke know it was a trap? Nurse Linda Gant, please report to the eighth Excuse floor. Excuse me, nurse. nurse. Uh, those discharge nurse papers to my daughter. Are they ready yet? Yes, Mr. Jerome. There will be a psychiatric nurse with her at all times. That's right. Now we need to know your daughter's boarding address in New York. 
my daughter won't be coming home with me to New York just yet. There's some problems we have to get straightened out. So for the time being, she'll be residing at the Port Charles Hotel. Fine. How soon before she can leave the hospital? Hopefully, very soon. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, what? As soon as you make arrangements with the cashier. Thank you. You're Miss Meyer, aren't you? You're the nurse who testified in my daughter's behalf yesterday. Look, I just did what I thought was the right thing to do. Well, whatever. I won't forget that. I'm sure you have a very long memory, Mr. Jerome. Uh, Mr. Jerome, telephone. Thank you. Victor Jerome. It's Malone. I thought you ought to hear this from me. Hear what? The agency's ordered me back up to Port Charles. I'm flying out this afternoon. Why? What's happened? Scorpio wants to question all the WPP agents who are assigned to Lavery. I warned you. He was bound to look into it. You have any reason to think he may suspect you? No, but... Uh, I just didn't want you to worry. Look, I'm not going to worry. If you don't worry, you just be Burton, cooperative. Please call your service. See if Dr. you can find Burton, out what Scorpio and the WPP service. are up to. I want to find out what I can, believe me. I, I just wanted you to know I, I'm on top of it. Look, I'm not worried. The only one who can finger you is Russo. And Russo is dead. Orderly Andrew Burton to emergency reception. Agent Russo, back from the grave. Don't even joke, Carver. Last night was too close for my taste. I mean, we barely made it into that bunker before the whole thing went. How's Duke? Well, he's safe, but he's not real happy. Well, having his wife and child believe that he's dead is the only way that he could guarantee their safety. Well, he knows that. So, who sold us out? We don't know. But Scorpio's sure up in arms. <laughs> Can you blame him? No, no, there's a very close personal relationship involved there. What I do want to know is, why did you go against the orders? What? Why'd you leave the safe house early and go running into that warehouse? Duke panicked when you changed the rendezvous point. He was worried that his wife and kid... Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's just back up here. I didn't change the rendezvous point. Malone talked to you on the phone. He said you told him... I called Malone and said everything was fine to proceed as planned. Malone sold us out. Well, I'll be damned. You want me to tell Scorpio? You can't. You're supposed to be dead, remember? Well, then you tell him. Well, how would I know? I wasn't here at the safe house. I couldn't have known that Malone lied. Well, you can't let Malone get away with this. No, I don't intend to. <sighs> Who drove you and Duke to the warehouse? Regis. Why? Well, I have a meeting with Scorpio later. Now, he's sharp. Perhaps if I drop a few hints. What kind of hints? Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Goodbye, Russo. Yeah. And good luck on your new assignment. Yeah. Yeah, my protection won't be worth much as long as there's scum like Malone in this program. You rest assured, Russo. Agent Malone won't be with us much longer.